Travelers along the Kaduna-i Abuja corridor via train have been assured of their safety. Considering security measures that have been put in place by the Nigerian Armed Forces to curtail any attack by bandits on the train. This was disclosed at the press briefing in Abuja by the Acting Director of Defense and Media Operation, Brigadier General Bernard Onyoku. Our defense correspondent, Andona Ignia, reports. The armed forces has not relented in its offensive against terrorism, banditry and economic saboteurs. Among the gains made over the past two weeks in the decimation of terrorists, some strategic arrests were made by troops of Operation Hadin Kai. Because of the operations in the Northeast, operations, within the two weeks, 31 terrorists were neutralized and 71 of them arrested, including two women logistics suppliers, namely Mrs. Aisha Umar, aged 19 years, with a child of two years, and Mrs. Kaltumi Bakura, 20 years also, all resident at the IDP camp in Bama town. Troops of Operation Hadarin Daji carried out extensive land and air operations across five local government areas in Zamfara State, where bandits, according to the armed forces, met to their end. Cumulatively, a total of 16 criminal elements were arrested, 16 bandits were neutralized, and six kidnapped victims were rescued while 12 assorted arms and 77 rounds of 7.62 ammunition were recovered within the period. Brigadier General Onyeoko, in a brief response when quizzed about the safety of train users, said the Nigerian Air Force has consistently maintained air patrols, thereby assuring Nigerians of their safety while using the train. The NAV helicopters are currently on patrol at Abuja Kaduna railway, railway lines to protect the passengers and the rail tracks. The Nigerian armed forces are certain that their effort has achieved significant results using both the carrot and stick approach in resolving crises across trouble spots in the country. From Abuja, Aon Dina Inga, Silverberg, News 24.